Hiya fam, welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we're back with another reaction. More Vikings here. Which one, Dan? This is the season finale of season four, The Reckoning. Yes. Well, where this ended off last time, we expect a battle. Aether Wolf was engaged with the Vikings, and we'll see what happens. If this ends with him just tied up, we're gonna have problems. Big problems. Skull fam! Oh. Okay, this isn't a battle. Alright, there we go. Yeah! I mean, war is hell. <laughs> Alright, let's go. This is what they've come here for. Now we're talking. Alright. Woo, it's like Braveheart, man. There's a lot of bodies. Oh my god, there's carnage already. Look at all of it. And of course, they've turned it into a muddy, bloody mess. Part of the plan. Yeah. All right. These boys know how to fight. Ragnar trained them well. There, there we go. go. Get off his horse. Oh. Damn. Dang. Aethel Wolf loves killing women. <laughs> wow. What a mess. Vikings are slaughtering these guys. Looking that way. But Aether Wolf's holding his own. Yeah, you're finished. Oh, yeah. If you're smart, you'll retreat. If you can. Retreat where are you? You're surrounded. Oh, my God. Boy, somebody lost their head. Yeah. This battle was over before it began. I know that's how you want it to go. No. And they're just getting into it now. Jeez. <laughs> he just threw his axe. <laughs> Save yourselves! Save yourselves! There's nobody left. Retreat! Let's see if Ivar rides him down. Doesn't look like he's gonna get that chance, but good lord, they, they killed everybody. Oh, his head's everywhere. <laughs> I gotta say, they decapitated half of them. Yeah, he's got Jesus. one in his hands. <laughs> Glorious victory, guys. Congratulations. Yeah. Ivar, great job. Yep, he called it. What are you so happy about? It is not over yet. I'm about to say, save some celebration for when you uh, in get this place secured. Right. Well, they said to get to Egbert. That's what I mean, yeah. We're defeated. It'll be here soon. We have to leave here at once and find safety elsewhere. I cannot leave this place. I cannot allow the king of our country to fall into the hands of our enemies. I will renounce the crown in your favor. Wow. He's accepted his fate. I can't just leave you here to die. My son, I ask you to trust me this one last time. I don't want to leave you here to be blood-eagled by these guys. He's trying to save the future of the country here by sacrificing himself. Do you, Egbert? In the sight of God Almighty, renounce all your thrones and kingdoms in favor of your son and heir, Prince Aethelwolf. I do. With this ancient crown. You have to think about it. <laughs> I crown you, King Aethelwolf. May God save and protect you all the days of your life. Yeah, it's for real now. <laughs> My sweet Judith. Come on. Thank you for loving me. Love is everything. We have no time for a quickie. You have a destiny, Alfred. You better get used to it. The greatest Christian virtue, Alfred, is humility. Thank you, Grandfather. I love you. He gets the best lessons. He does. I hope you're taking some of these uh, books and stuff from the Roman era with you. I hope Don't so. leave it here to get burned and destroyed. Right. No, I'm going nowhere, sir. I'm staying here with you. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Besides, the cellars are still stocked with some of the finest wines in Christendom. <laughs> He's a drunkard in a robe. May God be with you all, now and forever! That's goodbye forever. They're just cool with it, man. May as well be. Like, we've lived our lives. Let the young people handle the affairs of state now. Just get some distance, man. That's all you need. A little yep. distance. They'll stop. A couple of hippies here drinking. That's some what wine. it looks like. <laughs> Somebody get out the hookah. Where it looks like a retired Jedi master. <laughs> I 
That castle was never going to stand up to him. Yeah, they would have broken it anyways. Shots! Charles Worth is nobody there. They're going in anyway. That's all you needed, baby. <laughs> well, that was easy. Be careful, it could be a trap. You, for us! Yeah, let them go find out. They're expendable. They've gone! Yeah! Loot what you want. Okay, this castle's your oyster staging ground for the rest of your assault. i say this would be your new capital in England. But then these idiots are just burning it up. Oh, so much all the Roman stuff. Bunch of idiots, God! There's no brains in anything you just did there. No respect for knowledge. Some of that was Athelstan's work, too. You're gonna burn every scroll you find? Seriously, what, what's the point? I hope you know better, Floki. Oh, never mind. It disgusts me how narrow-minded they are. Every time you think they're making progress, they just go backwards. You still have guards? <laughs> just gonna walk up to the army? Well, that's interesting. Oh! This is King Eckbert. I order you to spare him. Now, does he have a plan? You know he's got something. <laughs> <laughs> Only took two one to get to the guards. They just can't fight, can they? Nope. Clafort, forgive that. For them, he knew what he did. Just senseless killing. <laughs> This is not the place to be bringing her right now. Like, why are you here? Don't be afraid. I love you. Oh, she got a knife. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. I can't believe she just did that. She just ended it all. Ended her misery. Helga. Helga. No. Helga, why'd you do this to yourself? You're not like anybody else. Be yourself. Floki, this world is too small for you. Damn. What an unnecessary death. No, he wasn't enough to keep her happy here. It's incredible. When Ragnar came back, I saw none of the signs on her. Mm -mm. I guess the world was too big for her. Too empty. I guess that's a way of saying it. Too big. Yeah. yeah. Portinaros, though, is just a living hell for her, being constantly like under her grip. Yeah. Farewell, Voyager. Farewell, my heart. <laughs> I'm sorry, Floki. I don't think anybody could have seen that coming. No. We have to decide what to do with King Egbert. We blood eagle him. Egbert is as guilty as Ella, so we should do the same thing to him. Damn. Kind of agree. We have to consider things beyond our feelings and think what is best for our people. I know what our people want, Bjorn. And they want what I want. Eh, he might be sure about that. I'd like to speak. I loved your father. He was my friend. And I know that... More than anything, he wanted to build a farming community. You killed them all, Egbert. What are you proposing? Without any legal right to English lands, you have no hope of staying. But I am king. Mm, you're not. I will give you legal claim to the kingdom of East Anglia. Because I am king, no one can question that claim. They have no idea that he's passed over his crown. Mm-hmm. What do you want in return? I'll only tell you that once you agree to my proposal. You don't think you're gonna live, do you? I say, who would agree to such a deal? What is your opinion? My opinion is that we should take the land. But I have one condition. That Egbert dies. And that I bloody kill him. Oh, God. <laughs> you really just want to do that, don't you? Yeah, he does. You wouldn't be able to stand up long enough to bloody kill him. I imagine me sitting. <laughs> I accept your offer of land. But for what you did to my father... You must die. All I want is to choose the manner of my own death. I suppose that's fair. I, I don't want to be sitting there while he's ripping my lungs out of my right. back. Yeah. 
I, King Egbert, give you the right to settle the lands of East Anglia. Too bad it's not legally binding. They have no idea. Nope. You're still going to be fighting for this land. Egbert, you slick son of a bitch. <laughs> So what you don't know is what usually gets you killed. Yep, exactly right. I'm sorry to hear of Helga's death. A part of me died with my daughter, Angepolda. A second part with Ragnar. And the last part of what was Flo. He died with my sweet, sad Helga. Yeah. It takes its toll. What I am now is nothing. I give to the gods to do with as they please. And I shall be an empty ship with no rudder set upon their endless sea. Take care, Pia. So then what shall you do? I don't know, but he's not needed right now. He can go do what he wants. Thank you. I can't believe he was actually playing politics with Ragnar even now. That's incredible. Yeah, I thought he'd given up, but he's still, he's still working. All my future lies with Ragnar. I give myself freely to you. Thank you, Grandfather. I love you. Hell of a life you had. Don't be afraid. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> I can't believe you're able to do that with the other hand. What a way to go. A lot better than the other way. Oh, for sure. If I ever had his way, he wouldn't have such mercy. He'd be screaming for three hours. Instead, he can just fall asleep in a warm body of water. And thus ends the oldest generation in the show. No one will ever be able to doubt what we have achieved. An army of all our peoples. And we have defeated not one, but two English kingdoms. Yes, you did. We have achieved my father's dream. We have the legal right to the land and to farm here. I always knew I had to return to explore the Mediterranean Sea. And now I feel free to follow my destiny. Skull. 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 There are many other places that I want to attack. Who will follow me into battle? For the love of Odin, Alvala! Yeah! Enough. Uh, they saw how they saw how your plan worked. Yeah. Don't do this, Ivar. I don't care what you say. I wouldn't even piss down your throat even if your lungs were on fire. Knock it off. Well, maybe that's because you're not really a man. All right. You know what? He had it coming on that one. I would like to stay, but I have other plans. Yeah, your plans fell through, buddy. I want to go with Bjorn. I want to see the Mediterranean. Interesting. Everyone else can follow me. I do not want to follow you, Ivar. All you do is play music. As far as I remember, Ragnar didn't play the oud. And he certainly didn't offer his ass to other men. Whoa there. You make me laugh, just like you do when you crawl around like a baby. Shut your mouth! He's got no control. This is getting too intense. No, I guess it must be hard for you now that your mommy's dead, knowing she's the only one who ever really loved you. I'm a oh, no. That was your fucking brother! Dude, sit down. You need help. He's gone. Jeez. He's gone. No! No! Freaking animal! Is this the beginning of what you're really going to become? The prophecy's coming true. Oh, they're endorsing. Okay. A peccatus omnibus expiata. Into a redemption as sort of Amen. You're a very young priest. An incredibly handsome priest, I'll say. <laughs> I was say. Damn, what's the feathered hair? Thank you, Bishop Egmont. My husband has gone to a better place. The Lord will find ways to console you. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like I'm available. <laughs> wow. What is all that? Oh, I didn't hear what it said. Who are you, and what uh, proclivities do you have here as a man of the cloth with the sword? Seems we're gonna find out next season. I guess so. <laughs> I think I caught his name there, Bishop Hagmund. And that's all I know about him other than he's uh, he's one of these dudes and he enjoys the pleasures of the flesh. Yeah, 
Not much of a priest, is he? I don't know. That's the that one's baffling me there a little bit there. So much so that we're talking about it right now. I'm not sure who this individual is. I have to consult the historical records and see. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be interesting because now you have a priest who's very unpriestlike. Mm. And apparently he has his own weapon and armor, so we're going to see some action out of him in this future. I'll look back in my coloring books, see if there's anything <laughs> in the historical records. I didn't say they were going to be boring records. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ivor's gone and done it. This season has been fraught with some losses here. We've lost Eckbert. We've lost Helga. We'll get to that in a minute. Mm -hmm. And now we've lost uh, Sigurd. And of course, Ragnar. And Ragnar. But, I mean, this episode alone, three people down. So yeah. Three people off the board there immediately. So. Hel Helga, I wasn't expecting. Granted, we saw that she was that she was smothering the little girl. My inclination was that the little girl was either going to run away or that eventually she was going to open up to Floki and ended up becoming a Viking. I wasn't expecting her to kill Helga and then commit suicide. That seemed really just out of the blue. But you're right, though. She was smothering that poor girl. And it was one of the most uncomfortable things I've been seeing from her mm -hmm. because she did not look like the Helga we had seen in the past. And for me, it was really bothering me because... You really went into a dark place really fast if yeah. you're Helga. So I understand that losing somebody like your daughter there, mm -hmm. your real daughter, would affect you. But you needed to mourn and console with Floki on that. And I thought you had in those years that, that went by. But Floki didn't want a child again because I don't think he wanted the idea of losing somebody else again. Well, I think Helga's last words you know, were really important to this, this whole incident because she said, you know, the world's not big enough for you. And I think that's this, that was the difference between the two of them is Floki wanted to go out and see what the world had to offer. He wanted to see the other cultures. He wanted to see, you know, what loot there was, what, what all is out there besides what you've known your whole life. She only cared about family. You know, that, that was her big thing. And she wanted a kid that Floki wouldn't provide to her. And she just wanted to live her life in peace with, with her kid and Floki. And I, I guess that was the big separation there is she wants a small world and he wants a bigger one. Mm. And they just weren't compatible. That's too bad. You would think that even in the village of Kattegat, and that would have been a small enough world, you should have stayed there, number one. But you would think there would have been children there you could have adopted. I mean, certainly. I mean, how many people go out there and die in these raids? There's got to be some kids left behind from that, right? Yes. I mean, God, if any of Buren's previous children were still alive, you could have just taken one of them. Well, you know, just help the others raising their kids. You know, there's opportunities there for you. Open your house to orphans. Yeah. And bam, your world is small, and now you're taking care of children and giving them a chance mm -hmm. at life. That You had options, but you got really obsessed over this girl, and it bothered the hell out of me. So. Yeah, she got real clingy real fast, and it was just yeah. weird. I felt more bad for that poor for that poor girl, Tenaros, than anything. Because it's like, you showed up, you slaughtered her entire family and all of her people there. Mm -hmm. and then you took her, And then you took her away from the only life she's ever known, and tried to turn her into your daughter? Give me a break. Yeah, that wasn't, wasn't going to happen. She wasn't cut out for that. No. All she was, all she had to do was bide her time. It was a scary time she had to bide. She found a way. Yeah. But we also lost Eckbert here. Uh, and this is probably where it's like one of those touche moments for Eckbert because he found a way to beat the Vikings in the end. We say he beats the Vikings. Really, he's just led the Vikings into a bit of a trap because his document has no legal standing. He, he's not the king. Certainly not over East Anglia. So he has no means whatsoever to give that land to them. Because no no law authority in England mm -hmm. is going to recognize that document because the crown and the scepter and the ceremony had already been done. Aethelwulf is your king now. And it's like, and he did not authorize any such thing. Now, the fact of the matter is, you still have an army. And that's going to be the issue is, yes, Egbert's kind of leading you into a situation where you don't have any legal standing, but you do still kind of have the army to stand in the way of them arguing with you. Oh, you know what? That's true. And I suppose the other aspect of that, too, is you'd have to prove, I guess legally, that this document wasn't signed before he transferred his powers. So there's that aspect of it. Right. Again, it's just a matter of, you know, who's going to uphold it? Because <laughs> I don't I don't see the Vikings walking into a court to argue the matter. You say that? I would love to actually see it, though. Courtroom drama with Loki as a DA? No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, Aethelwolf's going to be there, and he's like, you're joking, right? The day, what day did he sign this? You know? Yeah. You saw him sign this, the same day that we all ran away. Mm -hmm. He had already made me the king, and I don't recognize this document. Yeah. So the the biggest way that's going to become problematic for the Vikings is if there are any citizens living in East Anglia, they are not going to back the Vikings because they're not going to have a legal claim to that land. So it's going to create problems, but it may not necessarily be the end of the Vikings. 
I don't know. We'll see, man. Because Ivar here is getting quite ambitious. Mm -hmm. As you can tell, like overly ambitious, I think. England might be too small for a guy like him at some point. He might want to venture out. You never know. True. I mean, he's a he's a true raider, so he'll want to go out there and, and see what there is to experience in the world. Though at this point, his, his anger is getting uncontrollable. He, he's constantly arguing with his brothers. I don't see him maintaining the control long enough to even get through England. Oh, wasn't that part of his death? father's like dying words to him was, your anger's a gift? Mm -hmm. So he, I think he's literally just taking that straight to heart. And he's just kind of, he's kind of listening to what his heart tells him. His heart tells him that his anger is a good thing. And no matter what he does, it's right. Even what he did to his damn brother there. Yeah. In his mind, he thinks that was the right thing to do. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with being aggressive, but you have to you know know where the boundaries are. Yeah. You know, I can't say I'm surprised by him killing his brother. They've been arguing with each other all season long. It was simply a matter of time before they actually came to blows, and Ivar got the better of him. Yeah, he did. Sigurd's also been kind of a bully to him mm -hmm. at times, but then there have been times where he's not. But it's moments like that where you're, like, you know, emasculating him in front of everybody with your words. It's like, man, at some point, you even if you're Ivor, you know, no pun intended, but you're going to have to stand up and defend yourself on that. You know, I just think you went about it the wrong way there. I think you could have just thrown a chicken leg at him or something, man. Would have sufficed, you know? And granted, you know, he did get a little bit uh, personal there by talking about his, you know, problems in the bedroom. But, you know, that's going to be very embarrassing for Ivar, especially in front of everybody. I can see why Ivar is pissed about it, but at the same time, it's like, he's your brother, you know? You guys are going to go your separate ways in a matter of days anyways, because you already said you're going to raid. Some people are going to farm. Some people are going to go with Bjorn. Like, you, he would have been out of your hair if you just left him alone. True. And damage is done. Yeah. Deed is over there, so. Now there's King Harold, who said, I have business elsewhere. He has no idea what's waiting for him. Yeah, because his little ploy failed. They know it was him, and it looks like your brother and potentially part of your army is going with Bjorn. So, yeah, what are you going to do? I don't know, but... Lagatha is going to have guards expecting you to return at some point. So if you show up at port, you're going to be in cuffs. Yeah, you are. And they're probably going to have you in a cell somewhere. Or roasting you over coals naked. Who knows? Or bloody wing you. Yeah, because you attacked her kingdom there. Mm -hmm. Or queendom, whatever you call it. So, oh well, it's coming. Yeah. Something is coming there. There's going to be vengeance there. There's going to be vengeance for Eckbert. There's going to be all kinds of vengeance next season. You think there will be vengeance for Eckbert? Okay. Well, I imagine Aethelwolf's not going to take it lying down. I don't know what he can do at this moment. He's lost his army, and they're on the run. True, but there's going to be other armies out there. I mean, we did see the guy there at the end who potentially belongs to a different kingdom somewhere. You just need an alliance, and you're right back in the fight. Yeah, a warrior bishop. I don't think I saw that coming. <laughs> Me neither. You have to, yeah, you're definitely going to have to find out before we do the next episode there. Yeah. Are these guys a thing? <laughs> right. That'd be interesting to find out. I mean, knights in general are... You know, a little holier than most a lot, a lot of the times. So, but they don't, they don't in, usually give the sacraments. You know, and right afterwards they don't uh, they don't comfort the poor widow wife. There. Yeah, that's a bit unusual. Hey man, he's not a perfect person. It's kind of like your other bishop there, who like constantly drank the wine all the time. Mm -hmm. They just like different things. I will say one thing that kind of annoyed me in this episode, and it's something that's been going on the whole season long, is the relationship between Egbert and Alfred. Because historically, Alfred is supposed to become a great king in England, and it kind of bothers me that Alfred keeps pointing out that, hey, you have great things in your future. <laughs> like, I know, but don't you have to point it out every time? And then there's the other poor kid there's like, oh, I guess I'm just chopped liver here. But like, your son Aethelwolf is still alive. There's still other kingdoms in England. You know, we could have a story based around these other guys, but no, you're pointing out that, oh, you're going to be the special one in the future, just so everybody knows it. Yeah, I think the excuse they gave him there is that he's a, a Athelstan's son, and he loved Athelstan, so he's like, man, I expect big things out of Athelstan's son. Right. So. But, but it's like the worst, most blatant foreshadowing ever. <laughs> it is. Well, he's not there to do it anymore, so. Uh, true. There. Alfred may crumble under the pressure of no Eckbert there in his corner, so. Uh, he's changed history. He dies as nobody else. Do you think any of this shit actually happened in history? Odin showed up and said, your dad's dead. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. I wasn't there, were you? No. Okay. Well, there it is, guys. The end of the season. A good ending. We got our, we finally got our scrap. Yeah. So. Yes, it, I enjoyed that very much. That was a, that was a good fight. A good muddy, bloody fight. Uh, lots of heads rolled. <laughs> An unusual a lot of heads, yeah. Yeah. Like, they took, they took pride in that. So, but so be it. They, they wanted this to happen. Yeah. So. 
it worked out in their favor. The Vikings won for a change over Eckbert's army here. So Temporarily. Temporarily. Time will tell how that actually goes. But we are going to be... We're going to be taking the rest of the year off, guys. We need a break for the holidays. We're still going to be doing movies. We're still going to finish our pitch meetings. But we are still going to be doing the movies for a little while. We just need a little bit of a break here so that we can enjoy our holidays as well. So this is, a, this is the time of season where... Folks like me and sometimes like Dan, when we come alive, where we come out of hibernation for the next three months. Mm. So, yeah. I love fall. Yes, absolutely. Fall and winter, this is when I actually come out to go on the hunt. So, yeah. <laughs> Everybody else does it in the normal part of the year, but, you know, here I am. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. But, guys, we're going to call it a quits there for now. As always, if you're brand new to this channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications uh, every time we drop a video. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, do so in the comments. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials or on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Skull for now, fam. Skull, Dan. Skull, Joe. Later, guys. Skull to next year, guys. You got it. <laughs>